Welcome back to Go Statesman TV. JT Webb joined now by Statesman Head Basketball Coach Jason Connor. Coach, the Statesman fall 85-72 tonight against Mississippi Valley State, but you outscore them in the second half. Played pretty well in the second half. I know you were pleased with the effort. Uh, JT, no question. You know, we, we end up coughing up the ball 20 times first semester, uh, first uh, uh, half. We don't play against this. We don't practice against this. So this is a, a an awkward game to come into because we can't simulate this in practice. We tried our best. I thought the I thought the guys settled down much better second half. I think we cut our turnovers in half and and we won the second half. Uh, and so often in 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 situations like this, and the way they play, you make one mistake. Bang. There's, there's two or three points at the other end. And then if you don't get your head out of your tail and, and get to the point where you're executing and fighting it again, it's a turnover and another, you know. So I thought they're late. I thought we could have gone in at the, buzz, at the halftime 10, you know, maybe. But all of a sudden we're down 17 because of a, a quick shot. And, and, and a quick transition basket, and then we don't concentrate and we turn it over again, and all of a sudden it goes from 10 to 17. That, it kills you. Valley's picked to win the SWAC, I think. Or, or, they are, correct. Yeah. Uh, I thought our boys, you know, a game like this, John Hudson struggled, Robin Sykes struggled. Uh, our two freshmen, I thought, fought it pretty good and gave us some solid minutes. But I was pleased that you know, that uh, uh, our guys came back and won the second half. And, and again, it happened again late here to where we could have gotten a bucket and cut it to single digits. And then it's a quick shot and a turnover, and then they go down and score. So, um, so the game's probably a little closer than the score indicated. Uh, but certainly, proud of the guys as far as finishing the game. And I told them we got to, you know, you cut your turnovers down to 11. You win that second half. If we'd have done that coming out of the gate, it had been a different ball game. Coach, what do we need to improve on, and what did you really like out here tonight as, as we go forward into the start of this season? Well, I, you know, We've got to get, I thought Marquez played well, Marquez Brown, in the, in the post. I, I felt sometimes he feels like he's got to completely take on the world at times, and he, and he doesn't need to do that. But our other big guys have to give us more. They have to give us more. I think our guard play, and we've talked about it, young guards, they throw it all over the gym the first half. They settled down in the second half, so that's positive and promising. Um, I still think, I, I thought we shot the, the three ball really better than I thought we were. Uh, that concerns me. We need to still continue getting better uh, with shooting that basketball from an inside out opportunity. In other words, feed the post, kick it back out, relocate, kick it back out. I think that will help our, 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 uh, our perimeter shooting get better. I was pleased from the free throw line, but Lord knows we don't want to talk about that. 70, 73%, yeah, Coach. That's, that's the best we've done in quite some yeah, time from no there. No question. Uh, and then, then, you know, I thought we did an okay job on the boards later. I thought we got – we gave them too many easy baskets, and they didn't have to work. But they ran the little dribble weave, and they're athletic. And then all of a sudden, if we don't really foot-to-foot -foot switch that thing or completely divide the floor and send it back the other way, uh, you're gonna, that's, that weave is just going to break anybody down. I don't care who it is. And we, and we got to get our help side uh, there and taking some charges. I think we bailed out on a couple, and we should have been more aggressive there. But I think their athleticism and quickness, it was tough for us to get there and, and maybe finish those deals. Uh, we need to do a better job there. I was pleased uh, that they didn't quit. I mean, we fought back. And uh, 
so again, you know, our first game is going to be the 15th and, and um, uh, at home. I think it's a 7 o'clock game. Hope everybody will come out and support these guys. Uh, I think you sense already there's a better chemistry on the bench. There's, there's uh, guys are willing to be coached. There's so many things. Uh, uh, my staff is working. And there's just I'm 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 grateful. Saw a lot of positive things tonight, and and uh, if we'd have taken care of the basketball better, it'd have been a different story. Coach, I want to thank you for your time, and we'll talk to you after the opener. We're really looking forward to it. JT, thanks, and and uh, appreciate all y'all do. Thank you, Coach. That was Statesman head coach Jason Connor. When we come back, Eric Gallo will be joined by senior center Marquez Brown. Thanks, JT. I'm now joined by senior forward for the Statesman, Marquez Brown. Marquez, first game action of the season for you guys. Your overall thoughts on how you and your team performed tonight? I, I feel we performed very good. We played good as a team, but, you know, there's more things that we could have did better. We're growing, but we'll get there soon. It's very early in the season. Talk about a little, the resiliency you guys showed in the second half. They made a run, but then you guys made a run of your own. How is that going to carry forward and build your guys' confidence as the season goes on? Like we did in the second half, we got to start it off in the first half to, um, to complete everything. We got to give it all we got from the start. And being the only returning player to this squad, how do you think the first game action for the newcomers affected them and how maybe they're going to grow into their roles a little more? I feel we're going to grow as a team. You know, like you say, everybody knew except for me, but everybody got to get used to everybody's game and just grow as a team. We got to trust each other more. And for you and for your team, what's the biggest focus moving on from this game and into Shepard Tech when you open up the season? Uh, biggest focus is getting our defense better. We got to play more better D, and we got to communicate more. That's what we got to focus on. Marquez, thank you for your time tonight, and good luck the rest All of the right, season. Thank you. That was senior forward Marquez Brown. We're going to go ahead and take a break and come back with more Go Statesman TV.